Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. We are summoning a saber cat, so uh, we can get to the Argonian hunting grounds quicker. So we take the path here to the east. And it's a little hard to follow, but it'll get us where we're going. So, um, yeah, onward. Um... And obviously we're, you know, this denies the reality that there's a wagon and stuff. Alright, we're back. Uh, yeah, because, like, I mean, with a with a wagon, like, we've got a wagon with, like, a, a prince in the back of it and stuff, but, like, it's just us on a saber cat. I don't know. Suspension of disbelief. Video game logic, I guess. Alright, and eventually this path will take us. It takes us straight to, like, a dead end, which is essentially the hunting grounds. Yeah, see there. I mean, we'll, it'll run right into a house, essentially, is where we're going. Oh, we're gonna have to show this. Metal slimes. And actually, we might be able to, to do something about that. So, uh, specifically since Angelo has Metal Slash. So, that's awesome. I mean, we've got to also do something about those stupid frog guys, but, like... So, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have Angelo Metal Slash um, the uh, the slimes. And he should do two damage. Usually, a Metal Slash will do two damage to a Metal Slime. But, like, Metal Slimes only have four hit points. So, all we need to do is sit for him to hit one twice, which would be awesome. I mean, it would be equally as awesome to kill these frog guys and kill, like, all of these metal slimes, but I just don't see that happening. They have a tendency to run. Yeah, see? But as long as that first one we already hit doesn't run, we'll be, like, we'll be in good shape. And by good shape, I mean... Wait. Yeah, that's what I mean. Good shape. I was going to try to make a joke. Or a pun. I've been watching a lot of Chucker Conroy lately, so, like... Puns. Puns. Telling ya. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I was surprised. Like, obviously you can't be uh, an LPR and not have heard of Chucker Conroy and stuff, but I've watched a little bit of it. There we go! We killed one! Awesome! Those things are worth a thousand experience, people. Um, But I've never really, like, kind of just sat down and watched, like, a full LP of, like, Chucker Conroy stuff. Like, sometimes I'll just, like, put out a video and see, like, what's going on. Uh, or something shows up in my sub box because he tends to play games that are kind of hardcore gamer like games I've never heard of uh, Which is fine. That's great, uh, but I watched his Luigi's Mansion. Oh, we killed two of them. Oh, this is gonna be great We're gonna get levels up. Here we go Look at that I called it well we get 2,000 experience. I mean what else do you expect? All right Look at how courageous we're getting. It's awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I watched his LP of Luigi's Mansion, which you can watch in, like, one playthrough. It's 16 videos. And, uh, it was cool. It was great. I liked it. And at one point, I thought about LPing Luigi's Mansion, so. Alright, so, um, this place is essentially, like, a free inn. And, uh, that's about it. I don't, I don't know if you can save your game here. But, uh, the Argonian Hunting Ground is a zoomable place, so you can warp here if you leave. Just so you know. Although I don't know if that's, at, like, to this building, or, like, after you go in the Hunting Ground. But anyway, there's a mini metal. And, oh, and 41 gold. I thought the mini metal was the only thing in here. I was just smashing pots for the sake of smashing pots. Huh. I don't think there's anything in here. Again, like, notes, people, so, like... Um, alright, and they'll let you stay here for free, because they take care of the hunting ground for royalty and stuff, so. No big deal. No big deal at all. So, the hunting ground is kind of like a guided quest, and kind of like an out-in-the-open area. It's really weird, because, like, there are things you're going to have to do, but then there'll also be random encounters. See, so curiouser and curiouser um 
Anyway, so this is the entrance to the hunter ground. So before we do that, we're gonna have to use our lizard humor to smell like lizards. Ugh. Just like the little snot told us. That, that's what I said, right? That I wasn't gonna like refer to him as anything but the little snot. Like. Um. Actually, if I were a filthy mouthed person, uh, I would be referring to him as something else. But. And again, you'll get it. If by, if by the time we get back to Argonia, like, and finish the plotline there, you don't hate this kid, again, you got no heart, you got no soul. So that's an Argonian lizard, but, like, before we do that, we want to clean this area out. There's only two things in this entire area that, like, there's a treasure chest and, like, a bag hanging on a tree. And these Haxoruses, you want to try to steal from them because their drop is a dragon scale. Which is a reasonably hard to find item early in the game. Later we'll have probably too many of them. I think later they might even be buyable. Um, but uh, first off we need two to upgrade Jessica to her next whip. And uh, we'll get one here. If you don't get one here, don't sweat it too bad because there's one in the dark ruins. So. But if you can get a drop from one of these hack sources, um, you'll, you know, it doesn't hurt. I actually didn't know that they dropped that, and when I was running a practice file on this kind of section of the plot line, that happened to me. And was like, oh, a dragon, like, that's an awesome random drop. I think it also may be used in making certain swords and certain armors. I can't swear to that. It obviously, it only has alchem alchemical uses. I'm gonna go with that as the correct phrasing. Yeah! Oh, I was hoping Yangus would get another chance to steal. Oh, Jessica got a level up. Alright. Let's make her sexier. Okay, so there is a treasure chest back here. And luckily, because the Argonian hunting ground is a reasonably big area, see there's our dragon scale. Um, it's a reasonably big area, so we're lucky that there aren't treasure chests kind of everywhere in it. Because at this point in the game, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Like, those Haxoruses are not the easiest thing in the world to beat up. Hocus Chimeras, uh, great. I don't know that I've fought these before in in recent memory. I'm sure I've fought them at some point. Oh, they're brilliant, apparently. Oh, that's awesome! Look at that, that's great! That is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen an enemy do, just heal an enemy that doesn't need healing. Oh, these things are awesome! I could fight these all day! Get him, Jessica. Oh, that's so perfect. Uh, a damageless fight. I love it. I need to see more of this. Look at that. That's so beautiful. And not bad experience for enemies that didn't hit us at all. So anyway, so you go up the second path, and um, we'll find the only other treasure in this area that I know of. I'm not saying there isn't some other treasure, or some secret way to glitch yourself somewhere else or something like that, I don't know. I don't know anything about any of that stuff. Alright. Hexauruses. That's so great. Again, a, like a dragon with, a, with an axe. This is the most frightening thing ever. Like, if I saw a dragon walking around with, like, a big axe in front, like, I would, I'd be so out of there. Oh my god, if Wisconsin had a problem with those, I would so live in California. <laughs> like, although I guess it would make, like, I mean, if you lived in an area where that was a pro, people would be tougher. Like, you would just have to be tougher. Although I don't necessarily know how true that is, because, like, you know, People in other states live where there are things like 
Black Widow spiders or like, you know, alligator. And like, they're not necessarily tougher. Like, they just don't know how to avoid those things. So I guess you'd be sneakier. You would learn strategies to avoid getting attacked by dragons with axes. That's what would happen. Almost certainly. So we got a mini medal. Anyway, now what we have to do is, uh, you have to kill three of these stupid Argon Lizards. So, um, this one will run away from you. So what you want to do is use your directional pad and just walk up to it. You'll be fine. These things are not going to be, they're like mini boss fights, they're great experience. Um, oh my god, something else hit us! Something else hit us right before we hit the foul. I call foul. I call foul. I want a flag, ref. Where's my flag? Oh, football season is over. I'm gonna have to be like, I want a red tag. I don't know. I don't. I don't follow soccer. We talked about that. Twin sanity doesn't mean how I don't follow soccer. I don't understand soccer or anything. I know that there are cards. There's like red cards and stuff. I don't. I'm sure somebody eventually will just post a brief description of how that works in the comment section. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they'll just go like, stupid guy calls it soccer and not football. Like, I'm not going to talk to him about it. I don't know. Alright. Ugh. So here we go. And, um, the little snot will actually, um, be in our group. Uh, until he decides to run away because he's a coward. So I would suggest, um, psyching your people up. And, uh, casting Kabuff. Uh, you cannot sap these things, I don't believe. Um. So, instead, uh... And, yeah, the little snot will do things like try to attack. And sometimes he'll inflict, like, one point of damage. Um, I actually, there's a boss in this area, and I saw him get attacked full-on by the boss once. Because, like, he will hang around for a little while before he runs away. And I was like, yeah, the boss kill like... But it doesn't kill him, he's apparently got... He's apparently unkillable character which is a shame it's a real shame and see there he runs away because the idea is that he's you know um... oh. what what oh my god okay okay all my people just got poisoned. They didn't get like they didn't get crappy. You don't have to do anything about it. Poison. They got envenomed, which means like it's gonna hurt them. Every look at this. I'm gonna take damage every turn now, and I have like, oh my god. This has never happened before. Oh my god, this is miserable. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, I mean, we've got a spell to take care of this, so. Oh, please, somebody have something. Angelo doesn't have Squelch. Oh my god, ugh, okay, so we're gonna have to heal these people one turn at a time. Uh, this is so bad. Oh, man. I've never had... Uh, I've never had this happen before, like... I guess we have two strategic options, which is one, try to heal our people, the other one is try to kill him really quickly, which would be an option if he didn't keep knocking us on the ground! Ugh. Which, by the way, is an effective defense against raising your tension. If you're trying to raise your tension and you get knocked on the ground, your tension goes back to normal. So, later we'll run into enemies that have a different way of dealing with tension, but, like, this is working out really well for the stupid lizard. Um, I am not a happy camper. Alright, um, I guess, uh, I don't think, yeah, Tingle isn't going to do this sleep and paralysis. Uh, we really are going to have to kind of focus on just keeping people alive, uh, long enough to heal, and then just hope, because, like I said, this has never happened to me before. Like, even, I mean, if they get one person, it's not a big deal, but, like, I've never seen... Like, that's ridiculous. Had I known this was a possibility, I would have prepared for it. I mean, there are obviously ways to prepare for it. And Jessica's doing, like, no damage. Um, I mean, we'll get our defense up and stuff like that. And, like, we should be in decent shape. 
Um, and definitely need to keep get our get our guy who's carrying people unpoisoned. <sighs> All right, we can do this. We can do this. Um, the the priority list is 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 healers. Uh, Jessica and then Yangus. So, like, in general, because Yangus has... Yangus can take a lot of punishment. But definitely the big problem would be if we, obviously, if we lost our main character. Or if we lost Angelo. Because Angelo's our resurrect people guy. And our main character apparently is the only person who has an anti-healing or an anti-poison spell. But at least we're down to just Yangus now, and I could deal with that. I mean, we can fight. With just Yangus poisoned. Ugh. I would rather not fight with anybody poisoned. But... Okay. Stupid Argon Lizard. Battle cry my butt. Alright. Great. Nobody's poisoned. Ugh. And Yangus has a psych level up to five. That's great. Oh, Jessica did a little damage psyched up. That's nice. I mean, it's not great. So, uh, let's just get these guys out here for now. Um, and take a little breather. A little strategic breather. Ugh. Kill this dinosaur. Flame breath. That's not gonna do anything. Yeah, see, he's a lizard. And they're naturally resistant, I think. I think that's the way the game works it. Sizz. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, blind him. Kill him! I'm bloodthirsty here. Yes! Okay. Alright. We got some work to do, people. Yeah, 650 experience is great. You'll always get an Argon Heart from these guys. It's just part of the plot. It's not an item you ever actually get. So, this is an Argon Heart, but it's so small. Looks like the Argon Lizards aren't anything to worry about after all. God, I hate him. We'll have to keep hunting lizards until we find one big enough to do justice to my heroism. Ugh. This from a guy who runs at the slightest hint of danger. Don't make me laugh. Alright, we're gonna cut the video off there. I'm gonna um, restock my inventory, give some people some antidotes, stuff like that, heal everybody. Uh, and when we come back, we will be prepared for that if it happens again. Um, thanks for watching, take care. Bye everybody.